It's only January 19th of 2024 and already everything related to Disney and Lucasfilm with their Star Wars movie slate as well as their upcoming TV shows are really going through a rough patch. Not because of the ongoing drama limited to Kathleen Kennedy and Charmaine Obeyed Chinoy, but also everything revolving around Bob Iger's push for DEI and ESG into everything upcoming for Star Wars as a whole. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. So there's been a lot of problems happening in light of all the recent fan backlash against the Rey movie. A lot of people are calling this the new Jedi Order film or simply the 2026 Star Wars movie, whatever have you. There's been a lot of things happening with Charmin, Obeyed, Chanoy, and the whole firing situation that we talked about just a couple of days ago, and what's been going on there, and how she has been reacting behind the scenes against the Disney heads, against those at Lucasfilm, surprisingly Kathleen Kennedy, and a whole lot more. Let's get into all of this now. As you all know, Charmaine Chinoy is a specific director that is very extreme and has called out many different fans as the toxic male demographic and how that is a big problem when it comes to why Star Wars, in her view, is lacking in creative, of course, uh, you know, overall viewership and everything related to how she wants to literally change and transform Star Wars from the ground up from Lucas's vision, so to speak, which honestly is going to be counterproductive. You can't just suppress George Lucas's vision of Star Wars and what it truly stands for. That's why Rey, of course, is going to be a character that is going to diminish Star Wars over time. Now, what's interesting about this is that with director Charmin Obeyed Chanoy already creating more trouble for the Star Wars brand, recent drama has been happening behind the scenes after she was fired from numerous projects by the Disney heads and only left with the Rey movie project standing. As it turns out, in a recent meeting that happened between the Lucasfilm story group, Kathleen Kennedy, and the Disney heads, when Disney pushed the movie, of course, pushed the move to fire and remove Charmaine from both the Acolyte Season 2, a new untitled Star Wars film, and the James Mangold Star Wars movie featuring the birth of the Force and the First of the Order, along with the Star Wars series that would lead up to the Rey Star Wars movie featuring new Force users. Charmaine is already reportedly playing the race card about how she was improperly removed from all of these projects and fell into argumentative conversations with both the Disney heads and even Kathleen Kennedy, surprisingly, for not defending her as hard as she thought she would have. This also comes in the wake of her drastic paycheck cut for the Ray movie after Disney decided to cut costs on their funds for the film for some set designs, CGI, and the creators, along with less locations that they will be playing, of course, for shooting the movie at. However, they did decide to raise Daisy Ridley's pay or else she was willing to walk off the film. That is something that happened over the course of a couple of months before the strikes and was now just made final. Her firing and removal from those projects that were all going to be female-led projects that are still happening, however, no longer with Charmaine, has already caused creative differences and tensions between herself and Kathleen Kennedy. Charmaine expected Kathleen to give a bigger fight against Disney, however, this comes in the wake of Bob Iger's third phase of his cost containment plan, which actually includes co cost cutting and dialing back on funds, and as a result of the intense fan backlash as well, that has been growing rapidly over time. Now, Charmaine already warned Disney that she is on the verge of making these decisions and the specifics of them to be presented to the, to the entire world, as she is now doubting her role in the Rey Star Wars film after getting fired from so many alternate projects, both as a director and a co-writer for both film and television. This also comes in the light of the situation where Charmaine's pay was downgraded by roughly 35% to be specific as a result of raising Daisy Ridley's pay grade, which 
which is actively frustrating Charmin as a result. Kathleen Kennedy is, is of course not giving a good fight against Disney. This is now creating a grudge between both Charmin and Kennedy, which is only creating more struggles and tensions for the Rey Star Wars film, which is already hitting a brick wall after Stephen Knight was instructed to write out any references to characters like Luke, Anakin, Ben, and Leia Basically, the Skywalker bloodline getting phased out completely and will in turn create a slight delay. This does not mean, however, that the Rey movie is cancelled and is inaccurate. Charmin is also having many arguments with Lucasfilm, not just because of her firing from over four Star Wars projects, but also how Disney is now considering pushing the Rey film until December of 2026 and having the Mandalorian and Grogu film take over its initial release date window of May of 2026. Now guys, let me just stop here quick for one moment before I get to the big conclusion here is that obviously you can see that this is a prime example of how they all eventually eat each other, right? All of these people at Lucasfilm, all of these people at Disney, if they run into some kind of brick wall or a disagreement, all bets are off. It's game over. And this is exactly what's been going on with Charmino Bay Chinoy behind the scenes. Now she was fired from those four main projects. Acolyte Season 2, the untitled Star Wars movie, James Mangold's Star Wars film, and a specific series that would lead up to the Rey Star Wars movie that would feature the introduction of these new Force users that eventually become a part of Rey's New Jedi Order that was reportedly going to take place five years after the events of The Rise of Skywalker. So there's a lot of projects that she had lined up, and you can only imagine, you know, how frustrated she must be with this drastic change by Bob Iger for multiple reasons, not just limited to the fact of the fan backlash, but also due in part to the cost-cutting measure that Bob Iger is doubling down on right now. I think that Disney's beginning to realize that Disney Star Wars is really not in demand anymore. People are walking away, you know, literally unsubscribing from Disney+, Plus, not even wanting to engage in any of their older material and anything related to the sequel trilogy at that, and many of the TV shows that flopped hard at the ratings, we know that there's a lot of trouble right now happening at Lucasfilm with themselves not meeting their numbers that they actually are and have been projecting to succeed with. So what's interesting about this further, on top of this, Charmin is already fighting Lucasfilm as we speak and Disney to get those projects reinstated that she was fired from since the plan by Kathleen Kennedy was to bring Charmin to a very high status, rapidly so, within Lucasfilm. Now look, we know that Lucasfilm is in shambles. We know that they're in financial flames as we speak. There's been so many cancellations, funds have been getting cut back. That's why these TV shows lately, with the exception of Andor, have looked very subpar, very mediocre at best in my book. You know, you can just tell that they're very fan fiction-y looking when it comes to many of the shots that have been filmed for many shows out there, like the Kenobi series, uh, like others that have released over the years, like A Book of Boba Fett. I mean, Mandalorian Season 3 had a big cost-cutting uh, measure there as well. But overall, I would love to hear what you all have to say about this whole Charmin Chinoy situation and her removal and firing from those four projects and how this is actually creating a big impact on the Ray film. So if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys later. And